Scorpio. What's popping, water babies? Hey, boo, hey. <laughs> this first time to my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Cussing does not work for you. Please feel free to find another beautiful video on YouTube. They can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Um, to the returning subscribers, hey, familia. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. <laughs> we share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Posse vibes only over here. We one big happy family. All right? Thank you all for the love, the love, the love, the light, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all, the readings. Thank you so much for your support from the most humblest space ever. I thank you. Okay. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This message is going to resonate with some. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make that motherfucking shoe fit. If it's too big, your ass going to fall. Period. Okay. So with that said, this will be for the summer rising Venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of Scorpio for the end of August. Supposed to be a mid month, but y'all know how I roll. If I was late, if I was on time, y'all listen. <laughs> I've been working on that because there's so many things that I'm putting. This is one me um, driving a one man show of about in about four different areas of my life right now. Things are changing so much, and it's just me trying to. Hold on, you know, and in the midst of takeoff mode, so it's crazy. But thank you guys for being a part of my journey. Thank you guys for loving all the phone and all me. Shout finances. Now let's get it. For you guys, I got regret and pause. When I was doing y'all energy, when I was meditating on y'all energy, for some reason, I feel like most of this energy has to do with Scorpio. But some of it has to do with someone around you. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody like that makes you make this face to deal with them. Like they make you feel like what, bitch? Like what? When they call your phone, you like what? Somebody who makes you feel this face, okay? But I definitely felt like it was more external to Scorpio. Some of them, well, you guys, you know how it resonates in your life. I got regret, realizations. Perspective shifts, restarts, home, focus, life cycles, confidence, ancestral intervention, manipulating a path, happy endings, yes. karmic debt, moving in silence, spiritual protection, blood ain't thicker than water. Successful business plans. Grants. Releasing drama. Vulnerability. New love. Stability. Forgiveness. Spiritual protection. Okay? So that's what I got for you all. For this mid-month of August 2019. Overall energy around the reading, guys. I got the King of Clubs. Clarifying that, I actually got the Queen of Chalices. Okay, so for some of you all, this has to do, some of y'all are actually receiving a very lucrative business opportunities during this time. Some of you guys also may be even experiencing career transitions or shifts. Congratulations, go be a good shit. Others of you are actually um, starting something new, solid, starting new relationships, possibly here with um, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And others of you, this has to do with you finding that fulfillment, that stability, that safety within self. And, and you find that within ignoring the outside noise, still being compassionate, but not willing to communicate with motherfuckers who don't know how to communicate effectively, i.e. talking to me crazy. Okay? There's a focus for some of you all on... Matters of the heart. Others of you, Spirit is saying, have you been going through anything financially? For those of you who feel as if you, you, you just, I'm here and just getting by. You're just getting by financially. Some of you all have some, some type of miraculous blessing coming for you. And it's going to come the way 
by way of you opening your damn mouth and letting other people know that you need help. Some of you all, you're so used to giving, you're so used to giving, but when people don't reciprocate that same energy off the rip, like, y'all need to deal with somebody who's psychic, okay? Y'all, you need an Aries in your life, a Pisces in your life. Some of y'all are really needing to really trust yourself, listen to your inner voice. And also ask the right people for help. You guys are very discerning. Hell, most of y'all psychic damn self. You know who you can ask for help and who you can't. But for some of you all, this is about trusting yourself, moving forward, chasing your passions, living your dreams, stepping outside of the box that other motherfuckers on the outside world and outside of you put you in. Facing your own fears. It's infinite, infinite. Some of you all, this has to do even with past life ties. Speaking of past life, some of y'all also may be having very vivid dreams. You may be kind of going back and forth between past life, so it may be causing a sense of insomnia. Some of y'all going to have to start sleeping with um, amethyst underneath your pillow. Others of you, um, the universe is hearing what it is that you're trying to put out. Spirit hears you, but you're needing to get a bit more intentional and not doubt what it is that you're trying to create via the intention. Please, damn Scorpios. It's like honing that Mars energy, but putting the Pluto energy in your damn pocket, or for that matter, even finding your abundance in the revelation around that Pluto energy, you know? One second. Hold on, Tati, baby. My bad, y'all. That's my vibrating heart. It's an almost been my man on the many nights. I'm petty. Y'all, let's get it. Others of you, I'm hearing father. So some of y'all also may be reconciling or tie, I'm hearing tying up loose ends. Tying up loose ends with, a, with your father. This could be a father figure. You guys are being very expressive. Some of y'all family members thought you ain't had no damn problem growing up. You ain't had a problem with nothing. And some of you guys are letting these motherfuckers know, oh, no, I beg to differ. <laughs> this, this was definitely an issue. And you're coming to the realization of why things may... Um, why we tend to even be in the greatest situations, but there's this sense of finding flaws to them based on the things that we've already been through and the things that we've kind of been taught to perceive around the aspect of love or based on the relationships that um, we were kind of brought up around and the things that were going on around that and within those relationships. First angel message I got for you guys is nurture. Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now, okay? I'm also hearing star seed. So some of you guys may have star seed children. Some of you all may be, have, may, uh, may be coming to realization that your children are very intuitive. Uh, some of you guys, you may be worried about your child seeing spirits or you're worried about saging your home. That baby ain't seeing no bad spirits. For some of you all, you're covered in ancestral protection and your baby's a medium. So they see what you're not even listening to. So turn to your children during this time. Some of you all also may be, um, some of y'all may, may be looking for a baby bed. Or uh, giving your babies another bed during this time. I see it's going to have a pretty gold trim. Others of you may also find yourself nurturing other people's children or being a nurturing source to other people's children to aid. I'm hearing helping your family. So some of y'all could also be experiencing something where you're having to help your family members with their children due to either... Um, some type of event that occurred that was without any control. I'm hearing a wreck. Somebody saying them could have recently had a wreck. Some of y'all, there could have been a family member that passed over, and there's discussions on where the children are going to go. Scorpio, you being called. Answer the call, baby. It's a part of your life purpose. It's a part of your path. There's lessons around this, and I don't know why I want to cry when I'm seeing this. Some of you all, this is sad. I'm going to go and do it. Because I feel that I'm, I'm really connecting with someone, someone, um, because I'm a mother and I could never do this to my baby. But Scorpio, some of you guys are in this space where there could have been issues with maybe a spouse and a child's mother or a child's father, where that person was like primarily the single parent 
some of y'all could be finding out that um, the other parent is like needing to get custody of the child due to the child experiencing some type of abuse, due to the, the other parent having mental issues or some type of addiction where you may find out that this child has been touched on or this, yeah, I, I, I got to get out of this. But some of you guys, the the yeah, the other parents, um, sorry y'all, it's sad. Some of y'all may find out that the other parent um, of your spouse's kid don't want the baby. Some some of y'all may wake up to a child on your doorstep that your life is getting ready to change in a massive way. For some of you, I'm speaking to someone who can't have no more kids. Or someone just runs off and leaves you with their kids, Scorpio. So you're being called for a major task during this time. And Spirit is preparing you to get you in this space. Ooh, whoever that is, Spirit is telling me you're going to get a reading. We're going to talk about it. We're going to cry directly. <laughs> well, some of you guys, I'm, I'm hearing that's you or y'all. But there's someone who, this could be actually, they could be experiencing this now. Like this video is coming up just in time now. Next message you guys got. Oof, get it together. It's passion. Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Again, for some of you are you going within. You're finding that your abundance comes from within you. The way to the way of the world that you were taught that everything works is not you're speaking your truth. That's just not my way. That's your way. And chances are the motherfuckers who telling you this shit, look at their life scope, yo. Let's just be realistic. How is that working for them? Okay? Other than you have the opportunity of a lifetime, but you're afraid to move because there's some type of readjustment that's needed to have. Some of y'all could actually have an opportunity to move out of the state, but you're worried about moving away from a mother figure who's actually pretty damn cutting with their damn words anyway. This is your good karma. This is your fortune. This is regarding your legacy. Okay, King of Pentacles at the bottom. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio in love? Others of you, there's this truth that needs to be spoken um, so that you can move forward regarding your passion, what it is what it is that you want. Some of you guys are cutting people, pain, situations out of your life and you're being used as a vessel in order to do so. Some of you guys are going to be the catalyst to someone's awakening. For some of you all, this could be a Pisces. Others of you, this could be a Cancer, another Scorpio, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This is also about self work and letting things go, clearing past life, karmic debt, and forgiveness, baby. As soon as I said that shit, bottom of the deck, I got the death card. Okay, what message do you have? Ooh, they jump. Y'all messages be jumping out. Hmm, walking away. The great clearing, okay? So some of you guys could be walking. Some of y'all here in work. Some of y'all could be walking away from a job during this time. You're focusing on what it is that you see as new as what it is that you see. You focus, some of y'all walking away to start something new, okay? Others, you could be walking away from a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, water sign. Hmm. For some of you, this has to do with the way of being. A way of not opening up and letting people know what it, what's the problem. Spirit wants you to know that you do have help, okay? Some of you all, there's an elf, so somebody is the element of time. Some of you all could have uh, tried to start something new or had an air sign. Generally, Libra Aquarius try to start something new with you, especially if you have children with this person. I feel like either you or another person feel as if they had to back away from the situation and kind of go within themselves and have strength and courage to move forward by themselves because someone could be very cutting with words. I also feel that someone has a hard time with letting shit go from the past, okay? Some of you guys could also be walking away from a sneaky-ass water sign and focusing on a new beginning with your fire sign. Um... Yeah, because I feel like, and in doing so, understand some of y'all got a younger energy that's stalking the shit out of your page, your social media pages, trying to see what you're doing, who you're screwing, if you're chilling, what you're doing, what kind, how much money you got, if you was drinking Hennessy on Saturday night because you told her you ain't had no damn money. Strong female figure, okay? Some of you guys, this could be a mother. Others of you, this could even be uh, a friend that wants to reconcile with you. It could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong Libra vibes who have shown themselves not to be loyal. Some of you guys, and you, and you, and you, you need to need to ask, you want me to tell you what the hell to do? Listen. Uh, one plus one equals two. Okay, Scorpio, listen. Some of you guys have an air sign, um, 
air sign, earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this person is watching you. They've kind of been taking their own sweet time about going within. I feel like but you and this person are mutually watching each other with the intention of wanting to reconcile and have something new. However, someone has, someone is not telling the other person, um, something that has to still be let go. Like some, some, some of y'all could actually be behind the scenes letting situations go. Before starting something new, this could also involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a reconciliation here on the table. And someone is needing to make a decision on if they're going to remain single or if they're going to take it. I feel like for those of you who take taken a new, because there is also an offer of the new, okay? There's a new love offer here possibly with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're needing to damn... You need to make a decision on if you're going to move forward away from this past life person or this person from your past who could be an Aries or a Sag or your partner. Others of you, you want to mend some type of, there's a mending. Okay, and there's truth happening. We are, there's truth coming out regarding a third party situation that could have involved a Libra. Some of y'all could be finding out the truth about some children during this time as well. I just heard paternity, okay? So some of you guys could also, yeah. Some of you guys are going to be receiving an offer from an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. I see fire here. Aries, Leo, Sag. I see, uh, I got the Ace of Cups here. So some of y'all definitely experiencing new love. And it looks to be solid, baby. So possibly for the Sagittarius, with a Sagittarius. Someone wants to reach out. They want to communicate. Now they want to open up. I'm also hearing reconciliation. Some of you guys intuitively know that a person is your soulmate. Some of you guys could also be dreaming that someone is going to propose to you, you on the money, especially if this person is a Leo or a Taurus or a Capricorn or an Aries or a Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you all, some of you all want to return to somebody in love, but you're afraid of the uproar that it will cause. Some of y'all are Connect, yeah, some of y'all intuitively know that someone's family has been a blockage for your union. Someone's mother could have also been paying somebody to do some type of fucking magic. This is all going to be coming out during this time. I'm hearing from now till October. Huh. Karmic debt has to be paid. Some of you all, huh. Some of you all are going to have some type of shift in perception with how you view some type of fire sign woman. Every still Sagittarius at once where there was once fighting and defensiveness. Now someone's kind of holding themselves back or this person is holding themselves back to kind of come forth and talk to you. Someone wants to open up and express themselves. This damn confusion has lifted. Like there is no more confusion. Now someone wants to come back and equally give and take because they see the other person as successful, independent, moving forward. Someone feels as if they're running out of time. Okay. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys may be having issues with the sign of Pisces during this time. This person seems to be very resistant towards moving forward with you or make, or, or moving forward, having you a part of their path. I feel like this person wants to kind of, I'm hearing compromisable endings, compromise. So someone wants to compromise with you, but they definitely want to walk away from a situation, lay it to rest, Okay. So, so for some of you all, you want to do some type of transformation in order to get you one step, will get you to what it is that you've been trying to manifest, but something has to die first here, okay? Some of you guys could, okay. So some of you guys could have been speaking out. Your intentions are very strong. The, the power of your words and your mind during this time is out. It's like outrageous in a good way, okay? For some of you all, you've been speaking out into the universe, these changes. The transformation that you wanted, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all been trying to manifest an Aries, a Taurus, an Aquarius. Some of y'all been actually praying to God who your damn divine masculine, divine feminine, feminine is. Because you are coming to the realization that some of y'all been holding on to the idea of reconciling with someone. Even though you've also been holding on to an aspect of confusion around the reconciliation because you see this per it's like either you see this person as up here or this person sees you up here. Someone is viewing themselves as less than and that's not the case. Got two fucking counterparts on here. Two two of them. I definitely see someone moving forward, someone being victorious after some type of reconciliation once they choose to let go of trying to control how the situation goes, let go of holding on to their damn feelings because I feel like someone there's a conversation that's gonna be had here. 
where one person is going to realize how they perceive the situation and truly even what the hell it is in the first place. Some of you guys are reconciling with someone who's a Gemini after some time apart, y'all, and it looks damn good, okay? Scorpio, I do feel that some of you guys, oh, there's a transformation happening in some type of union, some type of partnership. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sag is here. I feel like some of you guys are amicab amicably laying a situation to rest with an air sign. There's going to be forgiveness in a situation, but, yeah, for some of y'all, it's definitely a damn Gemini, okay? Some of y'all want to know who the hell your twin flame is. It could be a Gemini. It could be this Aries. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Sagittarius. For some of you all, um, it's a Libra. For others of you all, it's a Leo. Some of y'all, it's a Cappy. Others of you, it's a goddamn Pisces or a Cancer. I do feel you. You're done trying to invest in a situation where somebody feels as if they slip. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like someone was holding on to a relationship out of financial security, holding on to the idea of a relationship out of fear of moving forward by themselves because someone here fears change. I do feel that someone also was stalling time, was stalling the movement forward, okay, um, until they felt as if they were financially stable or they could hold their own. That, that case could be dealing with a Leo, a Virgo, a Libra, another Scorpio, an Aquarius. There is definitely some type of recognition. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are dropping a burden from situation, dropping a karmic situation and moving towards a soulmate. Having something brand new with this person. Hmm. And some of y'all, this person don't even see it coming. Either you either you don't see it coming, Scorpio, or another person doesn't. Someone, yeah. Someone has to let go of hurt, conflict. Some of you guys, there is some type of there's some type of, I'm hearing bombshell, bombshell of a news that's coming out either regarding a fire sign or an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you guys could be finding out that somebody got pregnant out for just a one night stand and you're not trusting that this is your child. This person could be a Leo. This person could also be a Pisces. Some of you all, there is truth. Some of y'all could also be dealing with child support, court or court. If you are dealing with the justice system, justice does look to go in your favor, okay? Whatever is occurring, whatever it is that you have to release, whatever it is that you're having to let go, it's a blessing in disguise because it's moving you to this space of financial, a, a, a financial blessing that's going to come in to assist you in taking a leap of faith or having that movement forward. Some of you guys have the opportunity to completely move to a whole nother state. And again, there's a sense of anxiety. You only, you, you're seeing the negative aspects of what the hell could happen around this damn move before you see the positive. Spirit is saying only focus your intention on the positive aspects of things. We're needing to, to, to release this shit. This, this here, this time moment I feel more so is about this shit being adios. Good day, amigos. You got to fucking go because only see what you still have. You you have all this you you haven't lost every fucking thing. And if you was to put these damn damn this juice back in these damn cups, it's dirty. You don't want it anyway. There was a lesson to be learned. Spirit is saying, let the hurt go, move on, and learn a lesson from it, so that we don't experience that. And recognition, recognizing the cycles here, and why we keep experiencing these lessons. I feel that the next, uh, this, the next full moon that we had, it could have been the last full moon that we had in Aquarius, definitely brought in a lot of, a lot of realizations for you all. And moving forward, I feel that you're moving away from this space of anxiety of what you, I feel like even this here with the source, some of you guys feel as if you have got yourself trapped or stuck in a situation that you just cannot release. You don't know how the hell you're going to move away from the spirit is saying the only person preventing your movement is you. Because within this movement, the movement, the trust, that blind leap of faith, that movement here is a blessing. That's your blessing. And it's divinely covered. Some of you guys could be starting something new with an Aries person. Some of you guys just have to do with you actually moving possibly to a whole other space that is going to bring you back that damn balance. Some of y'all got a toy that's going to come get you, baby. Some of you guys are... Some of you guys are cutting off the cancer and going back home to your family. Others of you, there's a dynamic shifting and changing, moving forward in love that it's going to ultimately lead to commitment, lead to lead to abundance, lead to fulfillment. However, we got to move away from the toxicity, okay? For some of you, y'all, you want to hold on to your family, but let's, let's just be real. 
hold on to your family dynamic. If I'm speaking if you have a family dynamic where you have children with another person. You want to hold on to this shit, but ultimately, you want this. This is what you see it. But to be very honest with you, this is how the fuck you feel as if you stuck to this because of this. Even though you're looking a whole nother way. I'm ready to dip. I'm ready. Listen, this is his fake, this is his fake it to make it face because this shit is going on. And this is the I was just front it. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. I was just front it. Let me go, bitch. I was just front it. Let me go, bitch. Listen, two different vibrations. Some of you guys are ready to get the hell out of a situation um, that could be ties to a family. Just some of y'all just could have to do with the Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo. You tired? Of, you tired of this person coming in and out of your life? Some of y'all, this, this person's intentions is have is having to do with sex, but they use y'all damn kids to get in there like swimwear to make you feel as if you trapped and stuck and obligated to deal with this person to block your movement forward. Spirit is saying, wake up, sis. Wake up, bro. Seal this shit at the door. It's time to shut some damn doors and windows. Motherfuckers can't get right. They got to get left. Period. Okay. Overall, um, overall advice for my scorpions. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Make a decision in love. You guys have to make a judgment call during this time. You have to make a judgment call if you're going to leave the damn water sign or not or the earth sign to move move new with the fire sign or if you're going to leave the damn air sign and the water sign to fuck out. Because somebody don't know how to keep their goodies to their damn self. But you're definitely making a judgment call that is going to bring you fulfillment. I definitely see a divine masculine and a divine feminine coming back together to reconcile during this time. And getting their shit right. Actually having fulfillment. The path is now clear for some of y'all. Not everybody. Okay? And for some of you all, there's an unexpected, there's an unexpected visitor coming. This person is coming to end the negative, a toxic way of being within a cycle. And I feel like they have followed you past lives, lifetime after lifetime to do this shit. So be receptive, Scorpio. Just listen to what they have to say. Okay? You guys let me know how this resonates. I love you all a long, long, long time. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. I am getting ready to run a special because y'all know how I am. I see when I skip to seeing too many towers, I know shit, we got restarts coming. Shit shaking up around this motherfucker. So we got to be financially, uh, what I call it? Because I call myself an entrepreneur all the time. I'm just trying to entrepreneur, trying to make it in life, baby shit. Listen, go for a knee. So, Scorpio, don't be afraid to open your damn mouth. You from Mars. The chances of your ass getting it, from what I see, is literally like 9 out of 10. You're going to get it. But everybody's not psychic. You is. So learn how to trust yourself and say what you mean. Mean what you say and speak up about when you need things. And don't keep letting people come in your motherfucking life with this old one, one toe in the water ass bullshit just to get up in your... No. No, 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 no. Limit the access. When you cut a motherfucker out, you cut that access. Think about it. I will talk. I will see you guys back here for the September generals. I love you all. Y'all showed y'all ass on the views. Y'all know I was surprised, don't you? I this was my face riding. I'm looking like, oh, you know, I want to see. I forgot I was trying to upload somebody, and I looked and I said, Scor Scorpio, L Leo. <laughs> what, 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 what? I was I was shocked and appalled. Thank you guys for all of your love. Thank you. Um, I did. I was shocked, y'all. I was like, yo, let me find out we getting here. Y'all y'all got some people out y'all here that made y'all feel like y'all was tripping. You're, you're not, now y'all listen to yourself. You're like, okay, Mocha, now I understand. You wasn't getting on my ass when you said that. You love me. So you told me. Yes. That's, what, that's, that's how love works. I can't say I love you and, and be watching you out here just bumping your damn head fucking up. Where they do that at? Y'all got enough fake ass yes people in your life to try to get some up out of you. That's not who the hell I am. We family. I'm saved by yourself because I love you. All right? So I love you again and again and again and again and again. Let me find out if Scorpio coming to get me. Come get me. Because I'm ready to go. Shit. Man, I love y'all. See y'all later for the month of um, September. If, if not before that, y'all, because I really want to get here and do a live. I have not connected with so many of y'all so i kind of want to do a live uh family talk not sure but i kind of want to do it some some little q a type things so you guys let me know 
Love y'all.